This is the MG team. They're part of your squad. You are the squad leader, so they will obey your commands. MG teams are equipped with the M1919A6.30 light machine gun, rifles and grenades. This team is ideal for suppressing the enemy. As squad leader, you can command teams to move to a new location, fire on a target, or follow you around. Hold tab or press 4 to order your MG team to fall in. Group up! Notice the MG team icon has moved from the outer ring to the centre of the compass. This reminds you that the MG team is following you, as you can see down at the bottom left. Follow your compass to the next training position. Press spacebar to continue. So here we have Private Jesper. Private first class Jesper, should I say. With the MG, you wouldn't give a private to uh, an MG. And here we have Private Connor, who's got rifle, sidearm, and he's got the extra ammo for the MG guy. So let's move these guys up, or I can give it this. Recon, bring it in. Which is a World War II hand signal that they used for on me, on me. So, as with the previous game, let's just move up. In the field up ahead, there are glass bottles. Press mouse 2 to zoom in and aim for them. You're more accurate when in iron sight mode. You can also crouch or dig in to stabilize the weapon. Now, to stabilize the weapon, we need to be against sandbags and things like that. So, I'm just going to pop these. Hold F to bring up the grenade ring and point at the sandbags and release. So here we have the hand grenades and you can see the actual impact mark there and the, the rough area that it should land in. So if we throw that there. And there we go. And as you can see it's also damaged the actual sandbags and you can press it quickly as well to throw one like so. As squad leader, you can order your men to take cover anywhere in the world. Hold mouse 3 to bring up the command ring and then point and release the mouse, and they will move. So it's pretty much the same as the other one. We have this command wheel there. I need so that 30 cal over there! So let's move these guys up. Uh, and the actual AI and the characters are a lot more intelligence in this game. They will actually call out targets, they'll throw their own grenades and get themselves into cover if you mess them up. Let's move them over there. Set up the 30 cal! I actually thought that was a 50 cal, it's a 30 cal. And we can move them over there as well. Give us some cover from over there! Move up, guys. Your men are trained soldiers, they're smart enough to find nearby cover automatically, especially if there are enemies around. Hold mouse 3 and aim at the wooden cart. When the command ring changes its shape to a crosshair, release the mouse to issue a fire order. There we go. You can optionally press mouse 1 to exit command mode without issuing an order. Okay. During Operation Market Garden, the Allies drop supplies and ammunition. Press E to replenish your ammunition and grenades whenever you find one. So there we go. We're all good. So let's just have a look at these guys. So as you can see, basically we've got the ammo bearer here and he'll put cover down while the MG is actually setting up and they will place it on walls, uh, embankments, sandbags. So the game really has improved quite a lot from the previous one. And yes, you can kill sheep, although I'm not going to. So, you're with me. On me. We'll keep this nice and relaxed until we actually start to get into combat and then I'll start bossing these guys around a little bit. Hello, I, I am Nicholas, and I will try to be of help. Here, I have prepared a map. It is not a lot, but I managed to find some German positions. Quick, we haven't much Whoa. time. He speaks good English. Um, yeah, yes, I do. We must be very careful. There are Germans on the other side of that wall. Now, I must get back to my son Peter. He wants to run away and fight very badly, and if I don't return home soon, I'm afraid he will do exactly that. Good luck, Sergeant Baker. Just hope we can trust this guy. Okay, so as you can see, these guys have automatically come up to the corner here. And unlike the previous game, we have a tactical map. 
This is your tactical map. It contains information on enemy and friendly units as well as objective information. Click enemy bar on the bottom. That will show the enemies that we've actually got visual. We actually know that the enemies are there. Friendlies, of course, will show friendlies. And in the upper left, left all objectives are listed. Click objective. So here's our list of, of objectives here. On this one, we've got to eliminate the German patrol. And there's also two recon points and three Kilroys. Now, if you remember the Kilroy symbol everybody used to, used to draw, that actually came from World War II, and I'll explain that as we get a little bit further in. And, of course, we can actually move the map now and have a look around. So working out our flanking positions now should be a whole lot easier. Move your MG team up to the wall. This is a great shot to ambush the German patrol. So I'm going to move them Cover up. Us over there. And they won't open okay. fire now until I actually give Roger. them the command. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to aim at the enemies. As you can see, I've got the option here. Let's give them all we got! And they're now going to open up, as you can see, like so, and actually take out the enemy. Now, assault orders will be given at close range. During an assault, your squad can throw grenades and shoot enemies behind cover. And as you can see, there are enemies moving up. This is the great opportunity for us to learn about flanking. Now for some combat flank training. First, have your men suppress the enemy here. The enemy's flank is located here. Wait until the enemy is suppressed, which is the grey circle from red. So move to safely to this position, then overwhelm the enemy with crossfire. There are flanks for almost every combat. You can use the tactical map to find them. Okay, so here we are. So because they've opened up, I'm going to tell these guys to suppress them, which they're already doing anyway. And I am going to sprint up here and get into cover now. And I'm actually going to move along the wall here as the MG continues there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a grenade out to this position, I think. So I can only put it where I can see. That's not a bad position. Let's get that grenade out. Fortunately, that didn't actually take them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of cover, sprint straight across, get myself into cover here, and I now have a perfect flanking position. They've moved down. So straight back into cover again. I'm going to move up. This gives me a perfect opportunity for another grenade throw. Fire Out you go! Hole. And he's lost a leg. This is not a good position actually for me to be in here. I need to move back quickly. And the MG's taking him out, so really quite a soft introduction to the game there. But you get to see a little bit of the mechanics and how the game has improved. As you can see, we have gore and body parts now. So it's time for me to call them in to me. On me, guys. As you can see, there is actually wall vaulting now, which is really nice. Nice one, guys. I'm in position. On me, on me. All right, squad. Get over here. So here we have a windmill and a beautiful orchard. In position. This is a Kilroy. Many American soldiers started to draw these during World War II to show the way they had been. It soon became a challenge to place these before anyone else and in the most unlikely places. So now you know a little bit of the history about the Kilroy. US and German forces often use windmills for reconnaissance. Go to the stairs to enter the windmill. Press spacebar to continue. I'm there. Baker, I'm in the open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys, I think, quick, set up over there, a little going bit further up. We're going there now. So you can see them running up. Oh, a little bit of a strange animation. And we're going to go up to the top of this windmill. Make a move up here, and that's going to give us a little bit of recon. And we can now actually see these guys down here, and we can press E to recon the area.
Recon report unlocked. Press M to read it. And if we come down here, um, I'll leave this. You can pause this on screen if you'd like to read this. But it is quite interesting about different aspects of this operation and what these guys went through. A little bit of history from World War Two and aspects of that. So if you want to read these, please do. It's quite interesting. And um, just pause the video, and we shall continue. So if we move out. So as we can see here, enemy positions here. MG is firing in this position, which means for me personally, it may be better for me to come to this position here. So when I come out, I need to go left. So the MG team, I'm going to move up to that wall there. Jasper! Quick, get over there! And I'm going to get them suppress those to suppress. And now I'm going to move down, and we're going to go on the left flank. Oh, real strange juttery animation on the steps there. And there should be, according to Intel now, a break on the left-hand side here. And I'm going to sprint all the way up here. Crouch now so I don't get seen, and I actually need to be on that side there, actually. So I'm going to get the MG to suppress this guy, so that I don't get seen moving across. He's almost suppressed there. Okay, he's suppressed. I won't be seen. And now I'm going to stay down and get myself into cover. Fortunately for me, I've been seen. So it's grenade over into the barn. That MG, I'm now going to ask him to move. Bad of me to move there. He wasn't actually suppressed. And I'm going to have to now, I think. It may be that I have to move the MG team up. Jasper, while I, su while I suppress. So he's going to keep his head down. As you can see, he's suppressed. And now the MG's ready. MG, suppress him. And now I'm going to move up. Nice. Nice job, guys. On me. Clear the Germans from the farmhouse. Okay. So I could probably do with the Thompson. That's perfect. Set up the MG over there. MG, move up. Let's just take this nice and easy. Need to find a little bit of recon before we move in. Okay, so we've got enemies out already. Enemies on the left and right flank. So let's just check our intel. So we know we have enemies in this position. It may be that the MG can fire across here. Actually, this position here. Doesn't, I can't actually flank a down that position there. So I think the MG, maybe the best place for the MG is over on the left here. Okay. So I'm going to move out quickly and get myself into cover. I'm going to move the MG team up here. Jasper! Set up there! Oh, move up, guys. Actually, I should have been covering them then. Okay, now I want the MG. Oh, yeah, that's yes! right. You cover that position. On that MG. Actually, I'm just thinking now. Right, I want to suppress that one quickly. Open fire on them quickly. Let's risk it. I'm moving. Right, we're in. Let's see if we can take these guys out with a grenade now. Hopefully they haven't seen me.
terrible. Terrible. MG, I need you to suppress. Jazz, hit that MG hard. That's, that means I can move over. Straight up. Straight into cover. Just missed him. Got two grenades left. We'll see if we can move up slowly now while the MG keeps suppressing. Target, that MG 42! Let's get a grenade in there as well. And then move in. Let's clear this room as well with the MG. Let's get a grenade in there. Shit, that was a bad throw. They're still suppressing, so this should be alright. I had a door then. What they're suppressing? Right, got enemies downstairs. Double time. Nice one. Nice one, guys. On me. Actually, we've got must have another enemy here. Get up here. Move up, guys. Guys, on me, on me. I need to get these guys in some cover. Uh, the Germans are about to counterattack. You will have an unlimited supply of ammunition if using an MG at this German ammunition depot. Right now, the MG's not going to get a lot of Give cover us some there. Cover from over there. Press. How do I actually pick it up then? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. We've actually got the MG now. It's time for us to start laying it out. Oh, that's satisfying. Come on, guys, suppress them. Shit, I've got to reload. Reloading! Suppress them! Let's give them all we got! Reloading! No, 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 suppress! Move up to that wall! Okay, I didn't actually mean to move them up then. Jasper! Attack them! I'm gonna have to move them here. Move now! Guys, move! Fire. I'll cover you. Shit, I've got reload. Pretty terrible on my part, if I'm honest. It's all down to these guys. Well done, guys. Reload. Rearm. Fall in. Fall in on me when you're ready. Baker, I'm in position. I'm here. On me. On me. On me. Get up here. Put you guys on recon. Can't say I think you'd be waiting in our DC, sir. A few of these men Baker. fought it. Yeah, I remember. I'm not great with names, but I certainly heard yours enough after D-Day. I could use a favor if y'all are up to it. Division has a whole mess of gliders coming into the south. I already radioed one of your jeeps to meet in you here. In Holland, the horde still meets. Get out of my fucking way. Sorry, sir. We're ready to move out whenever you are, Sergeant. 